It's week five of the NFL season and Cooper Cup, the wide receiver, has more receptions than Justin Fields, the quarterback, has completions. Yeah, let that sink in. Perhaps some of the blame lies with first-year defensive-minded head coach Matt Eberflus and his staff and or first-year general manager Ryan Poles and the lack of offense he surrounded Fields with. I have seen a ton of people give their takes and opinions on Justin Fields and wanted to share my own. When you look at the stats through the first month of the NFL season, Fields has just two passing TDs to go along with four interceptions, is currently the owner of the worst completion percentage among NFL starting quarterbacks, and has yet to top 175 passing yards in a single game this season. Not ideal from what is supposed to be your franchise quarterback. But let me just say the Chicago Bears are failing yet again at developing a young quarterback. The entire organization should be ashamed. I have never, ever in my life seen an offensive line pass block as poorly as the 2022 Chicago Bears. I think one of the reasons the Chicago Bears total rushes double the number of passes is because the coaching staff knows they'll get fields killed if they throw the ball consistently. He was sacked six times alone last week. And don't even get me started on the wide receiver core. Darnell Mooney is a good player, but to assume the second year wideout would be your number one is ludicrous. How is that setting up your young quarterback to be successful? Your one job while he's developing is to make his life as easy as possible. Look across at the young quarterbacks who are succeeding this season. Jalen Hurts. Tua, both of whom's teams traded for a star wide receiver this past offseason. Heck, you could even make the argument that Josh Allen didn't turn into the Josh Allen we know until they traded for Stephon Diggs. And I'm not comparing Justin Fields to Josh Allen, okay? The worst part about all of this is it doesn't end. The Bears starting tight end might as well be an extra tackle at this point. I have just as high of expectations for Justin Fields as you do and will be the first to admit he needs to get rid of the ball faster and make better decisions in the pocket. But to sit here and talk to me about evaluating him with the offense he has around him is just stupid. Let me say this on record. I 1000% believe in Justin Fields and no he will be a great quarterback in this league. And I hope to God it is in a Chicago Bears uniform. But if not, the organization only has themselves to blame.